Welcome to today's Tech Byte. Today we're going to be talking about the job configuration files. I want to make sure that you understand what this feature does and how to use it. Let's click on a new job and get to the job properties screen. This screen is going to be familiar to everyone. This is where you start your jobs and you make all the selections that you need for this job. As you all know, you can go through and select anything that you need from these tabs. And then at the bottom, you see the familiar set as system defaults. What this does is that the next time you open a job or each time you open a job, all these settings will be the same so that you're starting from the same point. This is very handy because most companies have a primary way that they build their cabinets, a primary construction method. They generally have a primary material that gets used more than the others. So this is going to cut down on the amount of time that's needed to select everything that you need for your jobs if you have your most commonly used settings already selected. What the job configuration files allows you to do is to have multiple templates to choose from instead of just one. So let's look at this a bit closer. Let's say that 32 millimeter is our primary construction method. The materials alder is fine. For this demonstration I'm not going to change anything at this point. I click on the save icon. I'm going to name this standard 32 millimeter construction. And as you can see, I now have the template called standard 32 millimeter construction, which I, is available for me to choose from each time I start a job. You're also going to notice that the set a system defaults button went away. That's because solid is now referring to the job configuration file templates. You can have just one if you want to, but most of the time you're going to be using multiples. For example, let's say your second most common type of construction is face frame. And whenever you do face frame, your most common material is going to be oak. So let me make a couple of changes. I'm not going to change everything due to time constraints. I just want to do enough changes to show you what I'm talking about. At this point, I'm OK with the settings, so I click the Save button again. Now I have two options. I can allow this to replace the existing construction method by simply removing the name modified on the end, but that's not what I want. I want to call this Standard Face Frame Construction. And as you can see, we now have two templates to choose from each time we start a job. We have the 32 millimeter. As you can see, it changed to 32 mil and the materials changed. Or we can change to face frame construction. Again, the materials changed and the construction changed. All these settings from all these tabs will change as you change templates. Another good example of using a job configuration file or another good use is if you have a contractor that you work with on a regular basis. So let's say that whenever you work with this certain contractor, they use a frameless blind dado construction method. And I'm just going to click hardware. Just as an example, they use wooden knobs all the time. That's enough for the example, so let's go ahead and save this. Again, I could overwrite the existing template if I wanted to. I'm naming this one Johnson Construction Company. Now anytime I have a job from this construction company, I automatically have their construction method plugged in, I automatically have their hardware plugged in, and materials, etc. So now, whenever I open a new job, I have these three different templates that I can choose from. This will make your life a lot simpler once you get used to using them. Now, if you prefer not to use this and you want to go back to the set of system defaults, simply click the delete button and you will delete each of these. And you see the set of system defaults 
returns and you go back to the old style of doing it. I hope this clears it up and that's the tech bot for today, job configuration files. This completes today's training movie. I would like to remind you of your training options. The help files are available within each Cabinet Vision product. The eSupport technical website is a great resource for questions and answers and features a technician monitored forum. Regional training classes are available so please contact your customer service representative for the classes in your area. If you would like someone to come on site to your location and train your team, this can be arranged. Online training is a very convenient method for training over the internet. The e-learning training series is a series of topics which you can purchase online and download for immediate use. If you have questions about this or anything else, please go to our website, cabinetvision.com. We look forward to you joining us next time. Thank you for watching.